Hello everyone. In this course, you are going to learn Spring Boot, and later uh, you can learn Angular JS as well. So, who are all having poor development skills, you no need to bother about it. You can learn step by step in this course. I will teach you in very simple manner. Only thing is that you have to practice every day. And I want to tell you. Uh, don't depend on others. Learn the skills and get the job by your own. Here in this course, I will teach each and every project on each and every concept step by step, so that you can learn very very easily. So each single line of code I am going to write, so that you can understand and you can practice and you can learn very easily, guys. Only thing is that you have to practice every day. If you practice every day, definitely you are going to succeed in your life. Okay, so initially I will start with the Spring Boot, and then later I will uh, start Angular JS. So in this course, you are going to learn uh, microservices as well, RESTful web services and uh, spring uh, jdbc and spring boot uh, sorry spring jdbc and spring J data J jpa and uh, mokito test cases and mokito framework and also spring security and jwt and other concepts so the moment you complete this course you should become as a full stack developer you will become as a full stack developer Okay, guys. So let's start uh, download Eclipse. Okay, we are initially we'll start with Eclipse. Later we'll work with uh, IntelliJ. So let's start uh, download Eclipse. Okay. Go to Google and uh, type Eclipse download. And very first link you can see here click on that link and click on download packages and you can see here there is a Mac OS uh, Eclipse is there Windows Eclipse is there Linux Eclipse is there so uh, for Mac users, you can download uh, first one, and for Windows users, you can download second one. So I am downloading uh, Windows version Eclipse. So click on that link, and you can see there is a download option. So just click on that uh, download button. So you can see here download will start. Go to downloads so still it is downloading yeah download successful so why I'm asking you to download this Eclipse because this Eclipse comes with uh, JDK 17 by default so when we are working with spring boot so spring boot uh, version 3.0 onwards so it will support only jdk 17 and above versions so if you download this eclipse and install you no need to install jdk 17 manually so this eclipse will come up with jdk 17 by default so that is the reason i am installing this eclipse okay so just double click on this uh, exe file and you can see there is a standard version and enterprise edition so you can click on you can choose a second option eclipse ide for enterprise java web application okay so click on that and then uh, you can uh, you can give your uh, where you want to install jdk 17 if you want a different folder you can give it here and installation folder whichever installation installation folder you want you can just click on this browse button and you can change that path 
so whatever uh, default path there i am just downloading installing the eclipse okay click on the install button so in background it will install jdk 17 as well as uh, eclipse initially it will take time so you have to we should have patience Yeah, my uh, Eclipse is installed successfully. So click on launch button. You can create your uh, own workspace. Uh, I will just go with the uh, default workspace. If you want, you can change the directory of your workspace. Okay, click on launch button. So now we, our Eclipse is ready now we can start creating projects okay guys so in this lecture you learn how to download the Eclipse and how to install the Eclipse so next lecture I will catch you in next lecture okay thank you guys